Visconti here with Max, Max Rose, Max Rose in the 95th Street, 95th Street uh, subway station. Again, all the politicians are down here pitching for 2018. So we're going to bring in Max Rose. Hey, Max, how are you, man? How's it going? All right, this is Max Rose. Max Rose is running for Congress. He's a combatant, uh, combat infantry captain in the U.S. Army. Running for uh, Congress in, in what what district is this? What, do you, what this is, is in the eleventh congressional district, covering all of Staten Island and South Brooklyn. All right. So, so Matt, what, what's your uh, Max? What's your what's your uh, what message you want to get what's out today message? to the people? Like, yeah. Like I'm a firm believer that we have to put government back on the side of the working class and the middle class in this country, and it hasn't been there for for generations. That's not just the fault of the Republican Party, although what they're doing right now is absolutely egregious. But it's the fault of the entire political class. We've got to fix it. We've got to send new leadership to Washington, D.C. And part and parcel of that is unseating Dan Donovan and voting me into office. Right. So you're a Republican, right? You're no, a Republican. I'm a Democrat. Oh, you're a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. Well, let, let me ask you a question. How do we get over the fact that the Democrats uh, came into New York and uh, basically, in many people's views, stuck a knife in Bernie Sanders' back? And, um, you know, we, we felt a lot of us, a lot of us... On the left, felt that uh, that the Democrats were very nice, and uh, so how do we overcome that? Well, I, I think that how that primary that? is incredibly divisive. I certainly think that our primary process can become more democratic. This notion of super dele delegates certainly needs to get looked at, right. without a doubt. Right. Um, and Bernie Sanders did some great things for us throughout, right. throughout that race. He did some fantastic things that I think should, should be applauded for. But uh, with that being said, now the Democrats like what Uni universal health care, free, sure, free tuition, bring, fifteen dollars minimum bringing wage. Bringing things to light, mm -hmm. the ways in which the Democratic Party has failed voters in the past, has lied to voters, has said one thing in one room and another thing in another. Mm -hmm. He certainly, he certainly shined a light on that. There's absolutely no doubt about that. But now we have to unite. We have to unite because look at what we're facing in Capitol Hill right now. We're facing a Congress that. Just gave away $1.5 trillion to corporations and wealthy people who did not need it. And they are going to do that on the backs of the people who truly need it. So you would reverse the, the uh, Trump tax breaks well, for the corporations? At, if, you, if you look at what Trump did, yeah. folk targeting New Yorkers, targeting New Yorkers especially, it's, 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 it's absolutely, absolutely egregious. So we have to take a hard look at what Trump did right. and certainly roll back some of these things that are absolutely egregious, especially that which targets New Yorkers. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Max, let me ask you a question. In New York City, uh, law enforcement ticket quotas are illegal. They're actually any ticket quota uh, uh, instituted by law enforcement is technically illegal. But uh, NYPD, it's it's questionable if they still have arrest quotas. But we know that uh, NYPD traffic certainly has a ticket quota. That number is twenty seven, and the Department of Sanitation Enforcement mm -hmm. Division has. Had a quota for more than 30 years, a 10 ticket a day quota. What would you do? What do you say to the agencies that are instituting these uh, so quotas? We have to get going. All right. And turn the people. I got a that I gotta and turn the people into ATM so, machines. You know, the, the truth of the matter is, is that throughout our criminal justice system, yeah, we have got some real work to do. Right. Now that that with that being said, though. Yeah. I'm a, I consider myself a member of the law enforcement community. I'm a okay. captain in the National Guard. You know, okay. the day after the, the, the terrorist attack in Chelsea, I had my uniform on the next day. So I'm a believer that we need to push power down to the lowest level officer and empower them to make decisions that they think are correct in the, in the nature, in the pursuit of public safety. So I'm not a believer in quotas of any type, of any type. But when you talk to rank and file police officers, they don't want to be micromanaged in that way either, at all. Okay. They don't want to be micromanaged in that manner. Okay. So we can have true justice, true equality, true fairness in our criminal justice system, and true public safety. And this is something that I've worked on throughout my career. Right, right. Something that's deeply, deeply important to me. Yeah. All right? All right, Max. Right, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very good. Me and Max, good luck. Have a good really good luck. Good job, man. All right.